In this problem, it's given that the distance from the origin of the centers of the circle. So here we have a equation of a circle given to us. Actually, it's the equation of three circles because I runs from one to three. These uh, distances are in geometric progression. Then we need to show that the length of the tangent drawn from any point on the circle x squared plus y squared equals to c squared to the three circles are also in GP. So let us begin. So we'll start with the given equation of the circle. So here we are given uh, the circles x squared plus y squared plus 2 times lambda i x minus c squared equals to 0. So here i runs from 1 to 3. So when i will be equals to 1, then we get one equation of the circle. So that's x squared plus y squared plus 2 times lambda 1 x minus c squared equals to 0. When i will be equals to 2, then we get the other equation, x squared plus y squared plus 2 times lambda 2x minus c squared equals to 0. And for i equals to 3, we have x squared plus y squared plus 2 times lambda 3x minus c squared equals to 0. Okay. So let's find, try to find out the uh, coordinates of the center of each of the three circles. So we know that we have a general equation of a circle given by x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2 times fy plus c equals to 0. For if we have the general equation, then the coordinates of the center of the circle will be given by negative g comma negative f. So that means we need to find out the constants g and f for each of the three circle. So what we'll do, we compare the first circle with the general equation, then that's going to give us 2 times g will be equals to 2 times lambda 1, which means the value of g comes out to be equals to lambda 1. And then 2f will be equals to 0, which means that f value equals to 0. That means the coordinates of the center, let's call it c1, will be lambda 1, negative lambda 1, because we have to consider negative g, comma 0. Then for the circle 2, here also we'll see that g will correspond to lambda 2, and f value will be equals to 0, which implies that the coordinate of the center 2 will be negative lambda 2, comma 0. And then for the third circle, its coordinates of the center will be negative lambda 3, comma 0. Now that we have the coordinates of the center, let's try to understand this. It's given here that the distances from the origin uh, of the centers of the circle, uh, that's uh, actually origin to the center of the circle, uh, uh, are in geometric progression. So let us suppose that the origin is 0, comma 0. And then from the distance formula, we have OC1. This will be the distance of the center C1 from the origin. That will be simply equals to, we'll have to take the square root. Here we will take 0 minus negative lambda 1. So we have 0 plus lambda 1 whole squared. This will be the difference of the x coordinate squared added to the difference of the y coordinate squared. So that gives us the length as uh, square root of lambda 1 squared plus 0 or simply lambda 1. Similarly, we can find out that the length of the center 2 from the origin is going to be lambda 2 and the uh, distance of the center C3 from the origin is going to be lambda 3. So it's given here that these three distances are in GP. So it's given that lambda 1, lambda 2 and lambda 3 are in geometric progression. Now, if they are in geometric progression, that immediately tells us that square of the middle term, which is lambda 2, this will be equals to the product of lambda 1 and lambda 3. So, this is a condition that needs to be fulfilled. This is going to help us prove the problem. Now, we need to show that the length of the tangent drawn from any point on the circle, x squared plus y squared equals to c squared, to the three circles are also in GP. Meaning, we have a point, let's call this point as point A, but the coordinates x1, comma y1. Now from this point, this point lies on the circle, x squared plus y squared equals to a squared. From this point A, we're going to draw tangents to each of the three circles, such that it, the point of contact be B, C, and D. So that means A, B, A, C, and A, D are the tangents to each of the three circles. Now, we have to show that the length of the tangents are also in 
geometric progression. Now to find out the length of the tangent, we are going to use a formula. So let's say we have a point P with the coordinates x1, comma y1. From this point, we're going to draw a line which is going to be tangent to a circle at point A. Suppose the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared plus 2 times gx plus 2 times fy plus c equals to 0. Then the length of this tangent PA that's going to be equals to, we'll have to take the square root. Then we have x1 squared plus y1 squared plus 2gx1 plus 2fy1 plus c. So we're going to use the same formula to find out the length a b a c and a d now let's do a b first so a b is going to be equals to we'll take the square root since we are fine uh, we have the point a with coordinates x1 comma y1 all we have to do is consider the left hand side of the equation and replace x with x1 and y with y1 so we get x1 squared plus y1 squared uh, plus 2 times lambda 1 x1 minus c squared however this point a lies on the circle which means it's also going to satisfy the equation of the circle we're going to get x1 squared plus y1 squared equals to e squared now if this is true that means x1 squared plus y squared squared will be replaced with a squared uh, will be replaced this is c squared actually not a squared this is c squared now that means it will get cancelled with the c squared and we are left with only the square root of lambda 2 times lambda 1 times x now, similarly, we can find out the length of the other tangent, AC. So, AC is going to be, you can check it out, it's come out, it will come out to be square root of 2 times lambda 2 times x. And AD will be equals to the square root of 2 times lambda 3 times x. Fine. Now, what we'll do? Let's take uh, AC and square it. So this will be equals to 2 times lambda 2 times x. And we're going to multiply AB with AD. So with this is going to give us square root of 2 times lambda 1 times x multiplied to the square root of 2 times lambda 3 times x. Which will give us 2 times x multiplied to the square root of lambda 1 times lambda 3. However, we have already shown that lambda 1 times lambda 3 that's equals to lambda squared. So that means if we replace uh, lambda 1 times lambda 3 with lambda 2 squared, that this becomes equals to 2x lambda 2, which means that AB times AD becomes equals to AC squared. So we have AB times AD equals to AC squared. And whenever this relation is whole, this only tells us that the three tangents AB, AC and AD are in geometric progression. So we have successfully proved the problem.